Hey guys, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to the bonus part of Golden Sun. So, yeah, it's not exactly over because I have this part where I'm going to showcase some of the extra stuff, and I am post-commentating over this just for uh, editing purposes. So to begin with, I'm going to talk about the best place to level grind in the game, at least in my opinion. So if you remember the Tempest Lizard that I used to get to uh, the Crossbone Isles, well, uh, since he spawns infinitely, I find him to be the best place to level grind. Now, there are two main ways you can handle this. One is the really bad way, um, which I am going to call the Suhala Desert Method. And that is uh, the one we're going to be do showcasing uh, right now. So to begin with, um, you have to walk all this way um, in this cave to get to the tornado. I mean, you have to do this anyway, regardless, but um, you'll see what I mean when I'm talking about how... Uh, Bad. This is <laughs> skipped over that random encounter. Um, but anyway, so the usual, you just go in and then you use the water and then you fight the guy, right? Um, it doesn't seem like that bad, bad a deal. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, you have to leave the area every time to make sure he respawns because uh, otherwise, you know, you pretty much have to just keep going. So for the sake of showing you exactly how this is a bad idea, let's speed this up and show you how long it takes me to get there in double time. <laughs> Yeah, this is running at two sp two times speed, I'm pretty sure, so, um, yeah, it still takes quite a while for me to have to just do this every single time. Um, I find this the inefficient method, for obvious reasons, it takes way too long to just walk there and take care of this, it's just, ah, I don't like it. So, go through this cave, up down here, blah blah, down this room, oh, there's a tornado, then you use water, and then you have to fight him. Yeah, um... Just look at Isaac's head. He agrees with me that this is not a good way of handling things. So, the good way to handle it is the Crossbone Isle method, as I like to call it. Just go inside the tornado and let it take you away to Crossbone Isle. Once there at Crossbone Isle, you can basically just keep entering that little spot in and out and it will make them respawn. This is a much shorter distance to walk than going through the desert. So, um, if you want to level grind this guy, this is the best way to handle him. So you go inside, you use uh, the douse ability, and um, you fight him. And I'm going to uh, also discuss uh, some good strategies for fighting this guy, but I don't think I really do this here because I didn't really prepare. So to begin with, uh, as I said before, this guy can be poisoned, and uh, once he's poisoned, he pretty much is going to be dead within about three turns. It takes around 600 health from him, which is quite a lot. So, yeah, he, he pretty much is dead in three turns the moment you get him poisoned. Um, so, it, it is a way faster method than having to fight him the other way, which is what I had to resort to here, you know, for obvious reasons. Ramsey! Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. This thing isn't really that hard to fight, in general. I mean, you know, once you level grind him enough, he gets despicably easy. Um, it, and it admittedly gets kind of boring level grinding this guy, but it's nowhere near as tedious as it is if you were to go through the desert every time. When I was a kid, that was the way I, I handled it, because I thought killing him on the island would make him, like, you know, never show up again. So I never really tried. And, um, now that I know it does make him spawn still, um, it is the obviously superior method of handling it. Um, I have currently grinded on my actual Game Boy Advance file all the way up to 30. Speaking of which, um, I am currently, uh, the, the way that I am playing it in this recording is actually from my GameCube. Yeah, I was playing it on my Game Boy Player, um, as you can see from the Z button option in the top right corner. Sorry that I didn't address that right away. Um, now not all of this video is going to be playing from that. I did this to test how it would look, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think... Uh, I don't know, I don't really know which one looks better. It looks best on the actual Game Boy Advance, personally, but, um, yeah, this isn't bad. <laughs> Boreas, you and your icicles that you shoot an arrow through. I, I, I don't know, it's really crazy summon animations. One of the things I love about this game is the summon animations. They're just so cool to watch. Just they're really well animated for, you know, a Game Boy Advance title, just, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> but anyway, I've done a lot of fanboying in this over the Let's Play and stuff, um, so, in general, you know, just use his abilities. 
ground, you know, stopped with movement, and dust, you know, allows you to attack, but there you go, he's dead. It's not that hard of a boss at all. You can totally grind him. Um, so yeah, you go in here, and he respawns. I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I jump cut, so we're not gonna be seeing me fight the guy twice, I've already showcased him once. So yeah, you just keep doing this over and over again, it's pretty easy, especially when you use the correct method. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Cutting. <laughs> So yeah, that's the crossbone aisle method. That is the best place to level grind. So there you go. Now there's the battle mode. I didn't really showcase this because this isn't important to the actual game. But um, the battle mode... Um, sorry, I'm turning up the volume a little bit. So the battle mode is uh, very interesting because this game actually has uh, multiplayer uh, aspects. But I'm not going to be showcasing that due to the fact that, you know, I was playing this off of an emulator. And, um, you know, trying to play this you know I would need someone who would have to have a copy of this you know maybe if I can get uh, you know someone uh, to like get a copy of this game which I, I maybe I will succeed one day um, I can sh do a video of me doing the multiplayer for this but as it is um, you know I'm just gonna showcase um, what I'm going to call the survival mode where you basically fight uh, monsters kind of endlessly and uh, there there's a ton of people you can talk to here for some comedic dialogue you know you can learn a few things about, you know, some gym strategies and junk, and so, it's not that bad. Um, so whatever save file you use, um, for the battle mode, um, it's going to basically use, you know, how you have all your equipment set, you know, in that save file. I'm currently using the one that I completed the game with. Um, yeah, so some of these enemies go down really easy. The enemies that you run into are actually pretty proportional to your level in the game. So, um, since we're a little under-leveled, you know, we're running into some pretty basic enemies right now. Um, it's nothing really that impressive. You know, here's, like, the lizard guys. You can pretty much kill them just by spamming the attack button. They're, they're nothing special, you know. Just, yeah, really. There you go. <laughs> um, and it also keeps record of, you know, how many fights you've done in before, you know. It can get pretty darn boring, but, you know, it, it's a fun little thing to mess around with. I personally have a lasted, I think at most, and it was in Golden Sun 2, around like 40 fights in a row. Um, because this really becomes a game of endurance pretty quick, because your Synergy and Jin that you have used carry over from battle to battle. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely something to watch out for. And there we go, I think that... That was the first time I've actually seen that work. So, uh, Ivan's weapon there actually has a percent ratio of killing an enemy in one hit, and that's what happened there. Um, so, yeah, I think it's good that I kept Assassin Blade as this weapon. Um, that's going to be really useful in uh, Golden Sun 2. So, let's use Meteor and uh, Squall Breeze and uh, Sleep. Yeah, so like I said earlier, so this mode is uh, still in Golden Sun 2, and it's pretty fun in that game. You could even um, play uh, backwards with a Golden Sun 1. I think there might be a few requirements to do that, though, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's Meteor. <laughs> there you go. Kraken takes blah 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 damage. Um, yeah, this was the boss from the Caribou Sea. Um, I was going to show footage of this one crazy thing that happened, so it turns out you could go to the um, Crossbone Isles way earlier in the game than what, when I went to with the Caribou Sea section. If you choose, like, the correct people, the ship will actually veer to, like, the left, and it'll eventually uh, uh, land on the Crossbone Isles. Now, at that point in the game, you can't do everything because you need, like, the cloak synergy and some other stuff, but, um... Yeah, it's pretty neat that you can do it that early. I I just sadly didn't get it on camera for you guys. I just found out when I was like having to replay the game after I lost uh, my old save file. So it was pretty crazy. Um, and I would have used you know outside footage, but you know I didn't record it, and I don't like you know using stuff that I didn't do myself. You know. Um, so yeah, there you go, the Kraken. I I quit after this point because you know I just wanted to show stuff. So yeah, there you go. I got a record of five monster fights, so there you go. Do it how you will. And once you leave, you're put back to the main menus. Now, again, you can do multiplayer using the link cables here. 
You just plug them right into your Game Boy Advance, uh, and then you plug the other one into the other one. I only have one Game Boy Advance with me, so yeah. Um, I'm also going to showcase how you transfer data between Golden Sun 1 and Golden Sun 2. It's a little weird to activate. You have to hold the R button, left, and B. Now, it's not clear that you can do that, and I find it's pretty well hidden. Um, so basically, you just choose transfer. You can either do password or link cable. A link cable will just send everything, um, but you have like three options. You can just send the gin that you've collected, um, your, you know, levels and stuff. Yeah, there's Golden Sun too. Um, so yeah, with that, I just wanted to cut to Venus Lighthouse, because why not? And, you know, uh, I don't know. So, that's about really all I really wanted to showcase, you know, in this episode. Um, here's the opening theme of Golden Sun 2. Oh man, I can't wait to do this game eventually, but, you know, even though I'm showing this, I'm not going to be doing this right away, but I thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, be sure to tune in on this series when I get to this one, because this one is, I'm going to say, is probably the better game, and uh, it's going to be pretty great. So, I thank you all for watching. Bye.